A new restaurant has opened up, Better Crust, right here in Cape Coast, located next to UCC. And I am here for it all. We have heard about this new Jamaican restaurant that has just opened up right here in Cape Coast. You know that I'm a lover of food, so I am here to check it out and get all the way, and I mean all the way, into this menu. So, is we ready, y'all? Are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to order a beef patty with cocoa bread to go with my meal. So I already pre-placed my order before I got here. And I am getting ready to eat some oxtails with white rice. And what did you give me? Fried rice and chicken. Fried rice and jerk chicken. Yes, fried rice and jerk chicken. But you know, it's kind of the same because we go on the grill. But anyway, we're getting into this food. The end. <laughs> And they have sobolo on the menu, which is made from hibiscus flour. We decided, let's get some sobolo and try it. What do you think about yes, it? Yeah. Mm, I like the fried rice. Uh, I don't think it's true, I mean, that's what I eat. Yes, because I love it. He hates sugar, but you know, I'm a sweet kind of girl, so I actually enjoy <laughs> more sugar in my drink, so. I don't necessarily like the spice and the ginger, so is this super spicy? You know they sometimes can put too much ginger. It's, it's normal. It's okay. Really spicy. Not too spicy. Yeah, it's not really spicy. It's, it's really okay. Okay, well let me just stop asking questions and just get into this taste. Yes, I have homemade homemade food. Homemade food. Homemade food. Homemade food. It's very nice. It's very nice. Like Babe said, it's not super sugary. It doesn't have a super strong ginger taste. It's kind of like all the flavors added balances each other out. It's really good. I like it. Great job. Just got my cocoa bread. Okay, and our beef patties just arrived. So now I'm going to show Babe how he's supposed to do this thing. This is how you do it. You take it, you're going to open it up like so. Everybody in New York, y'all know how this go. Y'all know how this go. Then you take the beef patty, you place it inside of the cocoa bread like so. Boom. Then you bite it. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. That's so good, y'all. So good. Now, babe, sir, let's see if you listen to anything I just said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm yes. Mm. Goodness, like a burger bite that thing. <laughs> like a burger. <laughs> to just Log with Melody, and today we have just came to this local Jamaican restaurant, which just recently opened, and you know I am here for all the food. As you can see, all the smoke in the background because the food is on the grill and it is cooking. So I am here today with, do you want to introduce yourself? Oh yeah, sure. This is <laughs> Chef Alexander mm -mm -mm. from Jamaica. Oh, okay, Jamaica in the building, all the way right here in Ghana. So what led you to Ghana? Please tell me. Went to Israel and um, my friends told me about Ghana. But man, you gotta come to Ghana because Ghana is so much like Jamaica. And I said, yeah, okay, so we can cancel. Israel and go to Ghana? Okay, fine, let me try it out. So I came for the first time in like 2018. Oh, wow. And I loved it. They were right. Here is, here is the next Jamaica. And then I'm, I'm beginning to find out, I mean, the, the history and culture that we are very connected, especially with the Fantis. If you've ever heard about Fanti Rose, which is Nani, one of our national heroines. And she's from here. So it was just awesome for me. Um, 
learning the similarities and experiencing this culture. And I said, man, this is a home away from home. There's a lot of things that um, even uh, culturally we have forgotten in Jamaica. Some of the older values, I mean, you can still find them here. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, it's just an awesome place to be. Yeah, I feel the same exact way, like some of the values, even in the states that we don't have. But when you come here, it's just so rich in culture, like you were saying, oh, yeah. and the value system. Oh my gosh. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, so I said to myself, you know what, man? A Jamaica restaurant is needed here in the Central Oh my gosh, region. it was so needed. Oh no, yeah, because what? Spoke to your soul. For the first, the first city that I've come and there's no Jamaica in the restaurant. And Jamaica restaurants are mostly all over. That's right. And I said, man, I mean, I'm a chef. I've been over 30 years in this business, so. Wow. You know, I got it. It's my calling. I got to put a restaurant here. Yes, so, I'm glad you accepted that calling. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell y'all, the food is so, so, so very delicious. Y'all have got to come on down and check out Better Crust because their food is absolutely delicious. And the crust on them beef patties, listen, it's you going straight to heaven after you eat it. I promise. It's so good. How long have you been here in Ghana? I've been here for a year and a half. Okay, okay. So are you planning to stay here? Do you plan to travel outside of Ghana again? What's your plans for the future? He's back home, so I'm, I don't really have enough plans to go anywhere else to live. Okay. So okay. I will travel out for me with the business, mm -hmm. visit with family and stuff like that. Okay. But this feels like a place that I want to stay. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of, I think, I feel like when you come to Ghana, it's so yeah. contagious. Like, yeah, you so just come here and you're just like, listen, I just, I got to catch the Ghana vibe. I got to stay on the Ghana vibe. And it's warm, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. it's one, it's a very... If, let's say if you're over in Europe, the States, and you're looking for a place to come and retire, I mean, God, God should be definitely on your list. This is a very good place. You get a lot of a good prices here when it comes yeah. down to homes, um, land. Um, I mean, all people should definitely consider coming here. Absolutely. See it for yes, exactly. See it for yourself. So, can you talk a little bit about the menu? What do you have on this delicious menu? Oh my goodness, now you're gonna put me on the spot. Can I even remember my menu? I mean, it okay, is, just give us your top mm -hmm. three best sellers. It is very extensive, our menu. We have a lot of things because, as I said, I've been in this thing for over 30 years and I just want to put everything out there. You understand? Because we have people not just coming from Jamaica, but people from um, Europe, people from Canada, people from the States. And uh, because I'm an international chef, mm -hmm. I love to, you know, give a little taste a little, to come to everybody. But uh -huh. I mean, we're predominantly a Jamaican restaurant and you will find your rice and peas, oxtail, Jamaican beef patties, fried chicken patties, um, you will find the curry chicken, curry goat, all that stuff you will find here, right? Oh, and delicious. well seasoned, per, um, properly marinated, and we take a lot of pride in how we prepare our food because we know how our culture are. Mm -hmm. We love flavor. We love to like just taste that bite of just mm -hmm. just this bustling flavor going on in your mouth, like nature. Huh? Yeah. Natural season, natural spices. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh! And the food, as I keep saying, is so so very delicious. I remember I came here maybe like two weeks ago and I tried your quesadilla for the oh, first time. Oh, uh, Mexican. Uh, oh my gosh! I was just like, he is dead wrong for making food this delicious. Like, who told him yeah, to do that? Yeah, we have the jerk chicken quesadilla. You need to try it's that. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I promise y'all, it's so good. Y'all have to come and try the jerk chicken quesadilla. It's so good. And the sauce that you make. Is that like a custom sauce? A chipotle sauce that goes with its smoked peppers. And it's, uh, the, the, the peppers are called chipotle, oh they're smoked. Gosh. And we're making a very nice sauce that oh we serve gosh. with that jerk chicken quesadilla and corn. It's so delicious. Like, I just want to know, what did you do to get this sauce? Like, did you have to fast for a couple of days? Like, <laughs> <laughs> how did you hey, get this recipe? It's straight I, from heaven. If, oh I, my if, if I continue, I'm going to tell you my secret. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Well, thank you for taking the time out to do this interview. I know that you are super busy in the restaurant here today, but I appreciate you for just taking the time. And what is your hours of operation? I think we should do that in closing. Yeah, actually, um, we are from we open from 11:30 for service until um, seven eight. Okay, at night, 7, 8. Okay. And that's Monday through Sunday? Uh, we're open from Monday to Friday evenings. Okay. And because we do keep the Shabbat. Okay, very so, important. Yeah, uh, we are not open on Saturdays. And then um, Sunday we're back. Okay, 
Yeah. But we are also planning something for the future, like okay. maybe a Saturday evening after Shabbat. Because okay. I mean, many people do keep the Shabbat here, and you know they haven't cooked, they didn't cook at home. Right. They want to just come and grab something fast and eat. So right. we are. That's in the pipeline. We'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. So we'll look forward to the new um, uh, addition to the schedule. So that's fantastic. Thank you so much for taking this opportunity to be with me. All right, and welcome to Bet. <laughs> I'm going to bet everybody, all the subscribers, all the viewers on Just Vlog, that with one dart, I'm going to get this bullseye. Watch this. Watch that. Watch me work. Watch me work, y'all. Oh. <laughs> it's the boy, y'all. It's not working correctly. 